important to build the program, sort of being in a position to prove to others outside the locker room that we can bring a national championship and bring national prominence to University of New Hampshire and to the state of New Hampshire as well. 90 minutes, boys, come on! The Hubs mentioned a lot about like the culture of winning, but I think it's also a culture of togetherness and family. Before we go out, we all we always want to tell each other like, you know, we got your back, like we love you, and uh, everybody's giving each other a hug before you walk out on the pitch. I think it's something that's really special to be a part of. Matchups, throwing out long throws. Growing up in this state, you know, I understand the importance of what UNH men's soccer can can do to a, a, a kid's development. The Wildcats take the lead early in this game off of a goal from Johan von Niebel. I think that's starting to feed into sort of the community and the sort of the environment that is brought to Wildcat Stadium. The atmosphere is pretty wild. And being on the field and knowing that you've got like the 12th man uh, in the stands is, it's really special. Wildcats! What's that Wildcats! It's a raucous atmosphere when you're on the field and it's a world's difference than my freshman year, that's for sure. I love every moment of it. Knocks one in for the Wildcats to make it three to nothing. Just sharing that experience with my teammates and knowing what the community is excited about, which is soccer at the moment. In a way, we were trying to turn UNH into a, a soccer school. One, two, three, nothing, nine. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's no joke to say that it's come a long way from where it started. I came in my freshman year. I think we were ranked in around 40, and then by the end of that year. We had won America East for the first time, which led us into the NCAA tournament. And then my sophomore year, America East, junior year, America East, and senior year, America East. And, you know, we fell short this year, but um, each year we've had, you know, success in different ways, I think. Pinkham once again enters it into the box. Minutier can't connect with it. Bridger Hanson has it, yes! Can you believe it? Bridger Hanson strikes first. Wildcats won, Tar Heels nil. Players that want to go play college soccer want to go to a winning program. I mean, uh, you want to play for a team that wins, and if we keep on doing that, we'll keep continue to get better and play better players. Four teammates trailing towards the box. Finds O'Driscoll. Count it. Wildcats take the lead here. I think uh, over the past four years, having won so much, it's helped us be able to reach out to players that, you know, 10 years ago, the school wouldn't have been, been anywhere close to getting into the program. And he's got Alex Smear to beat into the box. Von Nebel on net, make it four! And the New Hampshire Wildcats have made quick work of the North Carolina Tar Heels. The cheers and all that stuff doesn't build the, the strong culture. I think it's the, the daily accountability that the guys have for each other that we hold for the guys. We have standards and expectations of each player and how they should go about their life and, and why they're here and a team ethos that they live to. You know how far the program has come. You know how much this one means to me. You can tell in training how tuned in I was. I think the guys have bought into that and they understand that if they hold each other accountable and, and work towards that, that there's proof in, in helping us achieve things that we've never been able to achieve and to continue to raise the profile of, of not only this program, but the school.